What's up everyone, welcome to Profit Data. So today exactly I'm gonna talk about this WebSocket data, market data, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna give you a live feed updates on Python console, okay? So I know I've been already done videos on regarding this files API, okay? How you can, uh, the access token, and how you can fetch the full market codes okay so you can visit youtube.com slash profit data slash videos okay and you can watch this video as well as this one so if you visit that uh, you know website link you will uh, you know get the code okay so you know i'm gonna show you some of uh, best thing right now okay so you know i just uh, simplify those things uh, for your generation of access token as well as uh, streaming websocket data Okay, so if you get with this thing, so the code for generation of, uh, of access token should be in this way. Okay, so you can mention your client ID, secret key, redirect URL, and in which one more thing is there, uh, you can say your URL in in same thing. Okay, if you just get here and uh, you know copy the whole thing. Okay, so you know. Uh, in uh, if you visit that uh, fire api documentation they have been explained a length, lengthy thing okay even you have to generate this url then you need to go for generating uh, auth code then access token so what you can do is in between just you can have this uh, you know url so what you can do is like we can copy paste that uh, in uh, web browser okay and uh, take out your uh, uh, auth code okay which is like you know i've been in already saving the auth code in python which you can create one more text folder okay so what happens it will be very much easy so from here what happens you can entirely cop copy this url just paste it in browser as like this okay and you will get an auth code okay so until i am persons uh, this one it will be very much easy to copy okay since this is a lengthy code so you know uh, doing a copy paste is little bit uh, Know, gets hurdle so what you can do is like you can easily can opt this stuff so what happens if you get this uh, say website so suppose if you get this website what happens the auth code will be there okay so you know if you just paste this stuff from this it will get started so from here you can copy whole thing okay so only am percent state equals none will be there so you can take it out that start leaving that am percent so up to this before uh, am percent whatever is there just copy okay and come with your this auth code say control a and control v that's it save that code save it and take it out that stuff and uh, you just come to your this generation of access token just press 5 and access token will get generated and saved in access token dot txt okay so now after what happens generation of access token till the market close you are you can utilize this access token for sure okay you can utilize can do whatever you want trade access profile or uh, you know access market data live data so whatever you want you can do okay so only you are required after this is client id access token and few of the imports okay which will be like fires model and especially in this case uh, websocket streaming data you required a fires api websocket okay you need to call that thing and uh, uh, you have to go generally by in a sequence wise and you will be achieve whatever you are looking for okay so we will like you know so that's it so it is very much simple to do this stuff okay so follow this and you are very much happy and easy uh, to you know generate access tokens okay now i just come with this thing so you know prerequisite thing you definitely need fires account for this stuff okay if you don't have an account please visit my link okay open an account uh, just fill the details okay so you know you can visit link in the description is given so from that also you can open online fire trading account otherwise you can visit my website which is www.profitadaweb.com and just click on this open online fire trading account and you will visit here just fill the details and if you got other and pan card go with it and it will be an instant account opening process after that just go through my videos which will be files api version 2 so this is right now we are running in version 2 and you can utilize this uh, uh, generation of access token as i explained so you can the codes are available so just follow them 
okay and it will be very much easy to generate the access token and keep your client id access token saved in a text folder or you can uh, with the help of dbn you can create the backup file or data file and can access the details required and can do as per your choice so it will be very much easy and one more thing is there since author uh, this, since this auth code only you required to generate access token and other things you can give it in python as well so what you can do with the help of selenium browser automation stuff you can easily can take out those uh, auth code and can uh, you know go ahead with uh, uh, generation of access token and then you can utilize to place orders so many ways are there which you can follow so whichever you feel like please go ahead with these things okay so please open an account get the api okay and uh, before getting the api just uh, fill the details here and get with the video okay you will understand each and everything okay so once you fill the details you got username and password get with this video that's it you are able to do whatever you like okay so follow my videos okay everything has been explained as step, step by step you know so what happens it is very much easy to refer from previous video which have been done with uh, zero the upstock allies blue as a, as well as i am doing right now for the files so you know if you go with uh, you know accessing the market data or web socket data the procedures are, th are same only the syntax will get changed so i must say that follow videos it will be very much helpful okay so right now we will go with uh, you know uh, getting with uh, web socket streaming data okay so follow this video and i must say that if you visit this api docs some of the codes are available but it is not a clean code and especially like you know some of the things uh, you know they have been like you know given uh, without any explanation much explanation and much clean code okay so explanation are there i must say that clean code is not available so i'm going to show you how you can do with an easy stuff okay so let's go with this thing so what are the things is required first of all uh, you know you required installation of uh, files so i can i can say that you can visit uh, you know cmd you can take it out the cmd and call wherever your python is available okay now what happens uh, your python is there and one more thing is that before getting into this just uh, you know i'll show you what i've been done so it will be pip show files minus api version 2 okay so if you get this one if you install uh, pip install files minus api version 2 so whatever uh, you know present files will be there it will get installed okay so if any update is there it will definitely gonna update okay so you will version will be 2.0.5 okay now what happens when i get with the web socket web socket streaming data it is there is a little bit hurdles are there so i must say that if it is five is there please go with uh, you know 2.0.4 so how you can go with this thing just say pip install fires minus api v2 equals 2.0.4 like that so if you go with just just click this stuff and you are 2.0.4 get installed since i've been already installed this stuff so it will show me that requirement already satisfied okay so you need you definitely need to follow this stuff okay otherwise you will like, you know i've been already tried with newer uh, newer stuff with a newer pip package but i am getting error for previous other things you can follow it won't be any trouble but for the web socket streaming data some depreciation is required okay otherwise you will feel hurdle a little bit about getting the data maybe in future if like uh, fires will resolve this issues and in upcoming they will give the clean code each and everything so that will be good okay so not any problem as of now everything is uh, good and well okay the only thing is uh, you know you need to depreciate it a little bit uh, to get stable things okay so you can follow this so just you know get with this things just depreciate your fires to 2.0.4 and everything as we discussed in earlier videos so websocket is done now you know what i have to do okay and i mean websocket for websocket uh, this installation is required so depreciation you can do for uh, that thing and now you have to follow some codes okay so i'm going to show you how you can uh, do this thing so all you have to call is from fires underscore api dot websocket
import ws okay now if you get with this uh, their code exactly some changes are there so if you try to import as well as try to print the data some error will follow okay so to avoid that error please depreciate fire api and follow this video i mean follow this code it will be very much easy now you need a client id so i already told you you know i been like you know store the client id in somewhere so i been i will call that path so it will be very much easy so generation of access token and keeping a file in different this format is it's a a good way to follow the processes because you know if you get with python and any of the code and uh, if you like uh, you know go each and every time and uh, you know ask for uh, uh, you know in python itself it's as a bad idea so what you can do is like uh, you can uh, get in path save this in path okay and call you are each and everything so you know that my client id is in app id dot txt some of the codes which i will follow from uh, you know api doc itself so it will be very much easy to refer okay so this is how you call your app id dot txt sorry okay if you get this things it is well and good okay so app id be required so i have been stored in app id dot txt which is my client id then i'm gonna go with my token or access token which have been done generated okay so i will just call this access token so you all know if you like you know watch my previous video i've been done explanation regarding this okay so if any blank spaces are there strip them and that's it you are good to go now what you have to do is like you have to follow some sequence wise so it will be very much easy to call the code you require some access token access token in the sense what i'm going to do is here i will like include my client id as well as token this is the format which is explained in the api docs so i am simply just following because as per authorization you need to follow some you know syntax okay so please go with it data type you need to go fill this data type which will be symbol data so please follow this format okay you have to do nothing so just you know photo file lines code and you are good to go with the streaming data and do as per your wish okay now what i have to do is like i have to call this symbol so you know the format is there for the symbol so we say nc uh so i've been already ex done explanation how you can call this data in fetch market code in my youtube.com slash profit data slash videos okay so visit my channel and visit the video sections there's a video is there from which you can follow so you get to know about the symbol okay and the next what you have to do is like you have to call this text so what you have to do is like you have to say custom message so code is available i am following something from uh, my api docs okay and next it's my own code okay so i need a response that's it here done okay now what i have to so, uh, say is like uh, you know ws is there i am calling from ws import is my ws what i am going to say ws dot fires fires dot i mean fire socket fire socket dot web socket underscore data and what i am going to do is like i will say custom underscore message okay so i'm calling this custom message uh, the web socket data and i need to give all the authorization what are the data type and the symbol to this thing as fs equals f ws dot fires socket fire socket and what are the things i need to say as as i already told you i'm calling access token so it is in sequence so i need not to mention each and everything so just easy follow so data type and then what i have been called symbol that's it and since i talked about fs so i'm going to say fs dot subscribe that's it you are good to go and if you are, if you don't have any error we'll definitely going to fetch 
the symbols which he required so we'll definitely gonna get the market data okay so each and everything will be there your ltp open high low close or whatever we see in the terminal it is available so please go through it okay and i'll give a link in description okay so your link will be there please go through it so you get the code okay so try this stuff and uh, you know if you want to add the symbols so here how you can do is like uh, say suppose if i want to add an another symbol so this is how i can follow the format so comma in symbol itself so i'll say comma and i will say if if i say suppose if i want to subscribe itc any symbols okay so for symbol how you go, how you will act, actually give the input for the symbol you can visit one of my videos which i have been told so a uh, live market uh, data is there as in this okay fetch full market codes so i have been explained how you can get the symbols okay so please go through it so it will be very much easy to follow okay so this is how you will go okay so ticks dot response will be there some pong received and some of uh, like you know some uh you know some blank boxes are there so you easily you can take it out okay so just give the if statement and try with stuff if you are facing error just debug them it will be very much easy to follow if you want to call anything like that you know you like you know you have to take it out this json format you, so you need to understand so you call the zero element a box is there so from zero element it will get started and if i required symbol so what i'm going to do is like i will say as in symbol okay so this is i follow okay so you know i i will get only one symbol so from this as you know uh i'll get only symbols which i required so i've been subscribed as tata motors and itc so wherever the update is there in the web socket i will definitely going to get the update okay and so suppose uh, Uh, Tata Motors are there. After that, what I required is last price. So what I'm gonna say is on standard score price, and I'm I'm gonna call with the same thing. Okay. So each and everything is same. Okay. So if you just uh, you know subscribe in symbols as in this a uh, list. Okay. give it them and then subscribe and this is how you can call so zero at is there and what i'm going to say is ltp so what i'm going to receive is i'm going to receive the symbol and the ltp okay so we are good to go okay so whatever as per a trading symbol i am receiving my ltp so that's it thanks for watching please do like share, uh, like share and subscribe if you have any doubt regarding this video please do comment below if you have any other queries or requirements please do contact me direct via whatsapp uh i'll give this code please go through it and uh, yeah thank you